Hi everyone and welcome back to the Brick Pods. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You join me today for a Brick Haul and you'll notice there's no package behind me and that is because today's Brick Haul is actually my Christmas and birthday haul combined. I figured given it's been over a month since my birthday, it was about time to show you what I got. Um, and obviously Christmas stuff, we'll just forget how long ago that was, but I, I will still show you what I got. So I didn't get much Lego. I did get a lot of Lego type things. So I'll show you the first few things that I got. So if you come to our live streams on Sundays at 8.30 p.m. UK time, you will have seen this one already. We built this one on a live stream. Weirdest thing to do on a live stream is build a jigsaw. You think that building Lego and, and live streaming might be hard, but it turns out finding pieces is easier than finding jigsaw pieces. So I wouldn't recommend doing it. And I keeping on the same theme i also got the evil jigsaw puzzle which is all the minifigure faces um i don't even know for sure whether i asked for this one for christmas i, I definitely wanted the other one but i think i looked at this and then and and decided that it looked way too evil and one of my family decided to get it for me anyway i think that's how it went maybe i did put it on the list maybe i like to punish myself but i am actually looking forward to doing it but i'm definitely not going to do this one on the live stream so these puzzles are from, I think, Chronicle Books. And they also have a range of like note cards and things. So this is another one that I got. And if you've seen my review of this year's calendar, the Lego calendar, then you'll see some of these pictures that are inside are like a repeat. Um, but there's some good ones. I've just made them all fall out. These are actually postcards, not note cards. Um, so they're pretty good quality, little... Uh, Lego stamp on there. Enough room to write. I don't really know when I'm going to send postcards, but I'm definitely going to going to try because it seems like fun. Let's show you a couple more of the pictures. They are pretty random. They're like everyday items, but Lego style. So you've got makeup and some plants. I think those are real plant pots, but obviously Lego plant pieces. Um. This one, like a little gumball machine. Uh, this is a very random one. Some chewing gum on someone's shoe. I mean, why would you send that to anyone? Who would you send this to? I don't even know. But, I mean, they're fun. Last one. Some Lego butter. I mean, who uses butter dishes these days? Not me. So that, that's a fun one. I think the last thing I got for Christmas was a little keyboard vacuum cleaner. So this is to keep on top of the dust in the Lego room. I haven't used it yet. I will get it out and play with it in a bit to see how good it is. But I was excited to get this one. This one was definitely one that I was really looking forward to. So I really should use it. I'm going to be honest, there may have been more things that I got for Christmas that were Lego related. But these are the only ones that I could remember. Oh, actually, I've remembered some stuff. There you go, I got some Lego magnets. So these are magnetic on one side, Lego on the other. So you can put your designs on the fridge. Quite fun. And I do have a use for these when you see what I got for my birthday. So let's move this out of the way and do the birthday haul. So most of my birthday stuff is still in the bag, ready to show you, so I didn't forget what I got. But I also got this other jigsaw puzzle. So I think I've got almost all of the lego jigsaw puzzles now this is the one that i really did want because i'm excited to work out how many of these uh, minifigures i actually do have and maybe put them on top as i'm building it i think that would be fun to do it also looks like a much easier puzzle to do than the the two that i've already got so i'm, I'm excited for that one but probably still won't do it on a live stream right so what's in the bag what did i get here so this is a note block just little bits of note paper to use the the top is actually bumpy so it feels a bit like lego not quite as bumpy as lego actually is so it's very green and blue this one um you've got light greens blue uh, pale blue i don't know if these are really official lego colors though they don't look quite right for me but they just look just like plates and the white ones and then the back side is blank for you to write on so i can just leave myself 
notes in the Lego room with these. These aren't sticky, so they're not like post-it notes. They're just little notelets. Um, but definitely will get used. And obviously to go with those, I'm going to need some Lego pens. I didn't even know they made these pens. So they're quite cool. And in fact, if you... Let me open them and show you. So there's three different colours and they're very square. I don't know how comfy they'll be to write with, but they've got studs on one side, but they also have anti-studs. That's the key part here, the fact that they've got anti-studs. Because if I take my Lego magnets, stick one of these to the fridge, then I can now attach my Lego pen to the fridge. So I always know where my pen is. I thought that was quite handy, having the combination of the two. I'm going to test it out. I haven't, I haven't written with it yet, so see what it's like. Obviously on a note, note lip. We'll go for red. So they're gel pens. They come with like a little bit of gel on the end to stop the ink from running out, which is useful. I'll take the magnet off before I write because that's a bit weird. There we go. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> feel like Robin, Robin Hood bricks there. Um, but they're pretty good. They feel nice to write with. The ink flows nicely. I'm not sure about the, the shape, but actually I quite, it's quite quirky. I'm not bothered by it. What else is in the bag? There's one more thing in the bag. And so my sister got the bag of goodies and so I've got a salt and pepper shaker and I have to say we don't often put salt and pepper on our food at the table we always do it whilst we're cooking so I don't know how useful these will be but at the same time my sister likes salt and when she comes to visit me she's always annoyed that there's no salt so I guess I'll fill these up and keep them for her when she visits so I have opened them up to sort of have a feel they they don't feel like proper Lego, like they're not the right kind of plastic. They're very much non-shiny. And then they've got rubber at the bottom to sort of fill them. They feel very odd. Um, so that's the bit you just fill them with the salt and pepper inside. I'm thinking I'm probably going to put pepper in the white one and salt in the other just to mess with her. Because that's the kind of things that siblings do, isn't it? But yeah, pretty cool. I'm thinking now also that I may have misplaced one of my birthday presents because I have a vague recollection that I also got the other coloured magnets and I've no idea where they've gone. But they do come in the two different colours and you can also get the London ones as well, which looks quite cool. So you can build like a little London bus to go on the, the fridge. Right, we have one more item that I received for my birthday. And actually this was from Ian's parents and they know that I like Lego. I mean, it's hard to miss when you come to visit our house, but they also don't know which sets we've got. So I think it was quite a risk for them to take to actually buy me Lego because chances are I'll already have it. And yeah, they did really well. And they managed to pick a set that I don't have and a set that I'm actually quite excited to build. I am super like, keen to get the icon set the one with the bigger headwig in I, I do prefer that headwig but at the same time i do like this one as well so i'm i'm a bit worried about the technic elements i'm always a bit rubbish when it comes to putting the technic in but he's pretty cool so uh, yeah this is this is going to be a fun one for me okay i'm going to give the vacuum a quick test let's see how it works okay here we have exhibit a which is the video beatbox so it's a black set you can see all of that dust build up and we're going to give clean it a go with my new vacuum cleaner okay okay what do we think so far less dust going on there that's the the dusty part, that's the non-dusty part. Let's give that dusty part a go. Yep, I'm gonna say it's pretty impressive. Again, there's another bit of dust there. 
none there. So I think the brush part, the brush attachment, really helps sort of move that dust about and get it in. So I guess I'll go attack the city and see how well I do. Okay, I've been up to the Lego room for 10 minutes. I set a timer. I cleaned about seven modulars and this is the noise that my thing now makes because I did accidentally suck up a couple of parts. So if they're not like secure, they will go up the, the vacuum, even though it doesn't feel like it's got that much suction. But what I'm going to do now is kind of be gross. I'm going to show you what's inside just from those seven modulars. So it's got a double filter system. You've got um, one in here. You can see there's dust all over that. So that stops it from going into the, the motor itself. And then the, the sort of finer one. And as you can see, that's pretty gross. It suggests washing this and leaving it to air dry. And then safely in there with all the other scum is my two pieces that I lost. So I lost a croissant off the prison restaurant and a random minifigure arm that I had. So again, this is all cleanable. And yeah, definitely been effective. Right, let's get back on with the haul. So it definitely feels like a good birthday haul to me. I enjoyed all of these presents. I'm looking forward to doing the puzzles and building that Hedwig. And I'm going to disperse the other Lego related things around the house so that Lego literally does take over my life. So what do you think of my Christmas and birthday haul? Would you have been happy to get these presents? I'm pretty sure you would be. Let me know in the comments below which is your favourite item. And if you like brick hauls, don't forget to check out our brick haul playlist, which has more actual bricks in. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an update. See you later.